Well, here we are <coughs> on, uh, oh God, whatever morning it is. I guess it's Friday morning. And uh, yep, got a little bit of snow today, um, but not so bad. And uh, we're heading out, day two. Get the car cleaned off and uh, heading on to Tennessee. See you all tonight. Has a little more snow than I thought. It was a solid four or five inches there. Um, getting a little bit of a late start this morning. I don't know what time it is. Looks like it's just about nine o'clock. My goal is to be out by eight, but took longer to clean off the car. Took longer to get up and get moving this morning. Um, but here we are. We're in the Jeep. Jeep's semi-warm, and uh, we're hitting the trails. No, I'm not really in the trails. Hitting the highway. See you in a bit. Well, that was about it. It was a long day uh, and started off with five hours of driving through the mountains in Virginia. It looked no different than what you saw. I, I shouldn't say that. It actually looked nice. It was beautiful. Just the video is not going to pick it all up. Um, it, it short recap, um, a lot of up, a lot of down, a lot of really fast traffic lot of semis and tractor trailers um, and uh, a lot of snowy trees as we went through the mountains in Virginia and as I said it took about five hours to get through Virginia today was a really long day um, I thought it was only gonna be eight hours I went back at the end of the day and looked and it was supposed to be eight and a half it actually was nine and a half um, I'm not sure if that eight and a half figure that I had calculated was because I didn't take into account the time change um, or if it just uh, was longer. I don't know. I, traffic was moving fast the whole day. I ran into very, very little traffic, but it was a long day. I didn't get here, uh, here being Nashville, by the way, made it to Nashville. Uh, I didn't get to Nashville until uh, let's see, about 6.30 East Coast time, because time changed, so it was 5.30 when I got here. So it was about nine and a half hours, literally on the road straight today. I did, once again, stop to pee uh, my one time, and uh, unfortunately saw no masks, um, despite the fact that the gas station I stopped at on the highway very clearly had a sign that said, masks are required for everyone who enters here, uh, I saw no staff member or person inside wearing a mask other than me. Um, but, say la vie, uh, I can't control that. What I can do is control myself and do my best to make sure that, that I am as healthy as I can possibly be. Um, last thing I want to just say here before I jump away for a second is, um, yesterday, seven and a half hours, I think, in the car, went through eight states. Um, today, nine and a half hours in the car and went through one. Yep, I passed from Virginia to Tennessee. That's all I did today. Uh, as I said, I think it was five hours in Virginia and four hours in Tennessee. I think I'm only halfway through Tennessee. I'm in Nashville. And, uh, and uh, that's, that's the situation. Um, I had hoped, as I said yesterday, to learn a little bit about each of the places that I stay. Um, unfortunately, well, let me back up. 
So in anticipation of that, I had actually booked a hotel line right downtown in Nashville. And my plan was to walk around, enjoy the city, to learn a little bit about the, the, the great uh, culture here in Nashville. Um, unfortunately, it's about right now might be about 18 degrees. I think it was about 20 degrees when I got here. It was already pitch black. Um, and uh, it's been a long day and I'm not going to venture out and walk around Nashville. So I apologize to the folks of Nashville and I apologize to you guys. Um, go online, research Nashville a little bit. Um, but uh, yeah, no little montage on uh, what Nashville is all about. What I would like to show you though is this. This is a video of me entering Nashville. My last 45 minutes uh, as I drove into the city, uh, this, I was heading west and the sun was setting and uh, sure it took me an hour, but you'll see it I think in about 24 seconds, the sun set over Nashville as I'm heading west across Tennessee into the city. So with that being uh, seen, I might as well go ahead and talk a little bit about um, the song for the day. Now, when in Rome, uh, be Roman, right? And so I'm in Nashville, and so what should I pick? Uh, the only thing I can pick should be something that's country music, right? Um, this is a little bit outside my wheelhouse. I'm not a big country music fan, but there's a little bit of history here. Um, for those of you that know Jessie, our daughter, um, Jessie has always loved horses and always been involved in equestrian. And um, my hand is shaking. I hope the camera is, is uh, recovering from that a little bit. So Jessie has always been involved in equestrian. She has loved horses from before the time that she ever got to engage in horses. Um, and even today, is still engaged in horses. So it's just been a big part of our family and a huge part of her life as a person. And you can't be too involved in equestrian, at least in a lot of places in the United States, without being exposed to country western music. And so this is a really long introduction, I apologize for that. But when, um, when my grandfather passed away, which I believe was in about 2008, 2009, um, I was driving from Connecticut to Nova Scotia. And so it was a long trek like this. It was only two days, um, two days of driving each way. And before I left, I asked Jesse, who was 12 or 13 at the time, I said, um, can you put together a, a, a mixtape uh, it probably was digital music. It may have been a, a CD or I don't know, MP3s at the time. Um, and she was, for, for one brief year, she was into country western music. So she put together a mixtape of her favorite uh, country western music songs. Um, and I brought it with me for the two days to drive up, to go to the funeral, to be with family, and the two days to drive back to remind me of home and the family that I had left behind um, in Connecticut. And I came back and uh, I said to Jesse, I said, did you want me to make me cry the entire way there and the entire way back? Because, um, you know, a lot of the songs that she picked were just dear, uh, uh, you know, love songs or songs about missing family or loved ones. And so it was a, it was a beautiful mixtape. Um, lots of great songs on it. But that's, you know, coming into Nashville, that's what I listened to for my last hour was her mixtape. And it brought back so many memories. And so the song that I chose, there were a lot of good ones. And actually, before I reveal Jesse's song, um, the song that really struck me the most uh, was Goodbye Earl by the Dixie Chicks. 
And the only reason that was on that mixtape was because I added it to that mixtape afterward. Um, it, it, so an honorable mention goes to the Dixie Chicks and Goodbye Earl. But Jesse's song, um, or the song that I chose from all the, 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 the uh, selections that Jesse had picked way back in 2008, 2009. I know it's not that long ago, but for her, she was very young at the time. Um, the song is People Are Crazy by Billy uh, Cunnington, and, or Currington, sorry about that, Billy, by Billy Currington. Um, I'll, 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 again, I'll put a link to it in the description. I can't um, link to it or play it here in the video, uh, but it got me moving today. It, it, uh, this, this whole mixtape really helped me stay awake for my last hour uh, as the sun was setting and I was driving into Nashville this morning. So, or <laughs> this morning, this evening. So, um, Take a moment and uh, and see if you can watch the video and enjoy uh, Billy Curringham with um, People Are Crazy. Okay, and so after sharing my song for the day, I share my uh, spiritual thought for the day. Um, I had a couple of them today. I actually spent more of today driving in silence than I had yesterday. Um, and uh, some of that was because my phone was overheating. Uh, it's amazing that these little computers, which we call phones, um, I have it recording the, the, the screen outside. I, so, so doing video footage, time-lapse footage outside my car, um, as well as streaming music, as well as doing GPS and wirelessly charging all at the same time. And occasionally my phone goes, uh, it's a little too much, got a little hot. So that happened a couple of times today. Uh, so when that happened, I just said, I'm going to just drive in silence and just listen to my own thoughts. And I had a couple of, a couple of thoughts today that I thought I'd share with you. But the final one, the one I decided to settle on was, um, I passed a lot of vehicles that were on the side of the road today. Um, you know, driving through the mountains, through the Blue Ridge Mountains, uh, for hours and hours and hours today. And they got you know, four to six inches of snow last night in a part of the country where they don't get as much snow as we in, in New England or certainly in, in the northern Midwest may be used to. And so there were a lot of cars that looked as though over the night they had just spun off the side of the road. I saw two 18 wheelers, two tractor trailer trucks that had driven, slid off the side of the road and were overturned on their sides. Um, and, and so just person after person, I thought about them driving last night between six and three when the snow was falling um, and, and sliding off the road and being abandoned uh, and, and what that might be like. So I guess I'm just lifting up a prayer for all the folks who went through that, the truck drivers whose trucks uh, were wrecked and tipped over for the families or individuals that were driving through the mountains and slid off the road and had to abandon their vehicle. Wherever they are tonight, whatever they're going through, just lifting up a prayer for them and just um, hoping that they're well, hoping that no injuries uh, happened in any of the incidents uh, that I saw the aftermath of and just lifting up prayers for people who, are, um, who went through a rough night last night and just asking God to be with them and certainly letting my heart be with them and being thankful that I'm warm and comfortable uh, in a vehicle that made it so far uh, over 1,100 miles and uh, in two days. And so just keeping all those folks in my prayers and in my thoughts today. Well, and that's about it. So signing off from Nashville, checking out my uh, the back screen. I always try to choose what'll be interesting. Um, that's what's behind my bed tonight. Um, this is a, a um, much more modern hotel than where I stayed last night. Last night was a historic hotel in a historic town. This is downtown Nashville, a uh, beautiful hotel. I'm in the Renaissance and it's just a, a really nice hotel. Again, I wish I could have walked out and enjoyed the city a little bit more. And if it were summertime, I certainly would be out there enjoying it now, but it is late, I'm tired, it's dark. It's really cold and nothing's happening outside, so you gotta go inside. And with COVID, not really sure I wanna do that. So I've teased you talking about COVID um, for two days in a row, but I wanna cut the video short a little bit today and maybe tomorrow I'll spend a little bit of time talking uh, about COVID. If not, 
I'll talk about it later. Um, but uh, it's certainly a part of the trip. And uh, so peace to all of you. My prayers be with you. And uh, thank you for, for joining me and following me along on this journey.